Whenever I see pictures of bagels from other places that aren't New York, and they look just like bread in the shape of a bagel, it makes me instantly sad. I want to cry, not a bagel. I mean, bagels are obviously popular in New York because of the huge Jewish community here. I mean, we had a, a, a huge influx of Jews from Eastern Europe uh, in the late 1800s and early 1900s, and with them came the bagel. And as they got, you know, became such a huge part of New York, uh, the bagel became a huge part of New York. The bagel has gone through a bunch of changes in New York. Sometime uh, in probably, I'd say, the 60s or 70s, the bagel had morphed into kind of a larger size, so more like, more like this. Came down to basically H&H uh, &H style. There are a million bagel places, but H&H &H style. And what that means is, but like, relatively large hole, relatively thin around, very chewy, relatively dense. And the other style was Essa, who I believe Essa was the pioneer of the doughy bagel. So uh, Essa started these bagels that were a lot puffier, higher, right? So the, uh, an H&H &H bagel was maybe this high, an Essa bagel was maybe this high. And sometimes they would grow almost to where the hole would close up. And that style got taken even further to bagels where the hole had completely closed up, almost like a, you know, a closed up belly button. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Essa Bagel, and we are here at our 32nd Street store. I think the water's important, but that's not the whole thing. So it's hand-rolled, boiled, and baked each and every day, and that's the way, really, any bagel should be prepared. So first of all, you've got to put all of the ingredients into the mixer, which is the flour, the malt, the yeast, the salt, the water. You have to mix it all up, and then once it's ready, the roller will then take that dough and place it on our rolling table and let it rest for a little bit. And then cut up the dough. And then we actually roll it. Now, what I will tell you is that is a skill. That is not something that happens overnight and it is really incredible to watch how quickly they can do it as well. But after the bagel is rolled, they're placed on a baking sheet and we put cornmeal on that baking sheet. The reason for that is so that the bagels do not stick to the baking sheet. The next part is that they have to proof and they get placed in the refrigerator overnight. So we take them out, we place them into the kettle. That's when they boil into the kettle. And what happens is we actually, the cornmeal goes into the kettle as well. So that's what makes the bagel shine. We wait till they float to the top so that we know that they're ready. Then they're placed on our wooden planks, and that's when we actually sprinkle the seeds all over them. And then it's placed in the oven, and we have like a rolling oven, um, which goes, and it's at 450 degrees. And then they're taken out, and they're ready to go, and they're fresh straight out of the oven. <laughs>